Hey, what's up, guys? It is me, Jake the Happy Snake here, and welcome back to my Pokemon Gold walkthrough. I have a lot to do in this part, so let's just get started. Now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna run back and forth. I'm gonna speed things up. I'm gonna run back and forth because I need, I really need to hatch this egg that, that I got in the last part. Um, and then once you hatch the egg, then you, uh, if you go back to Professor Professor Elm's lab, then he will give you something that I really, 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 really want. So yeah. Uh, so yeah, um, if, you know, if I keep speeding, if I keep speeding like this, the egg will hatch in no time. There we go, okay. So yeah, here we go. The egg hatches into a... Mm, come on, hurry up, Togepi! Okay, there we go. Alright, I couldn't <laughs> could hold it in. Alright, Togepi. Um, no, I will not nickname you. Um, yeah, now we're gonna, what, now I'm gonna go back to Professor Elm's lab, and this will take, um, a couple of minutes, because it's way back here. I do have walk in, I do have walk, um, walk through walls cheat. Um, I do have the cheat code, um, for, for the walk through walls thing, but, I don't like using it on this game because it screwed, like, one time it just screwed, it screwed everything up. Like, I don't know what happened, it just, I know, so, I, I don't know what happened, okay? Just, I don't know. It just, it, uh, I little notice came up. Say, I mentioned this in the last part. A uh, little notice came up and said, you know, said your game file has been corrupted or whatever. And then I don't know. It, it was weird. But anyways, so I talked to him. GTHS, you look great. That's kind of weird. What? That Pokemon? The egg hatch. So Pokemon are born from eggs. No, perhaps not. All. Hey, I pressed A too fast. Thanks, JTHS. You're helping unravel Pokemon mysteries for us. I want to have this. I want you to have this token of our appreciation, Everstone. Now, if you guys want to know why I want the Everstone, you can probably guess. I did actually mention this in the first part. I am gonna catch a Chikorita. Um, not like in this part, but in a few parts, I'm gonna catch a Chikorita and I'm going to give it the Everstone so it does not does not evolve. Um, because the, the starter Chikorita that I that I got. Uh, I'm going to evolve, but I, w I want to have another Chikorita that that you know stays as a Chikorita. So, yeah, and I think that was that was the first Sentra I just saw, or Centaric, or whatever. I used to call it Centaric. That, that's what I think. It, think it, it, it's it, it used to be called when I first got into Pokemon. But uh, yeah, it's actually Sentra or whatever. But I call it Centaric. So yeah. Anyways, now we gotta get all the way back to where I, where I was. This could take some time because it's easier to go back than. It's easier to go back to go back to New Bark Town than what it is to go back to Violet City. Um, well, in my opinion, it is. And a bell sprout, and I should have caught that, but I have cheat codes to find victory bells. So, boo hoo hoo hoo. All right. Ah, come on. All right. I mean, I've seen too many of those at the uh, Bell Sprout Tower. I guess that just kind of makes sense, doesn't it? Bell Sprout Tower. Anyways, I'm going to actually put the the uh, Togepi in the PC, because I would evolve this thing, like, I would use it in my team and evolve and stuff like that, but I seriously tried to do that in my Pokemon Soul Silver, it didn't evolve until level 96, that's because I used Red Candies, it was level 95, I forget, but it just took too long, and I don't want to do all that crap in this walkthrough, so, yeah, I don't want to, I don't want to have a Togepi for, like, my entire, what am I doing, uh, I don't want to have a Togepi for my, uh, for my entire adventure, uh, I'm going to stop the video for a second, because it's something that I need to do, okay, I'll be right back. Alright guys, I'm back, um, yeah, sorry about that, I had to stop the video for a second because I had to put a cheat code in because, yeah guys, that's right, I am about to catch my third, uh, team member, so yeah, that's just awesome, isn't it? Um, yeah, like I said, when I, when I caught Murkrow, um, a couple parts ago, I am gonna be using cheat codes to, um, to, to catch all my Pokemon on my team, so, yeah, uh, here we go, alright, hopefully I did this right, um, all right, good. I did. All right, it is indeed a Slugma. Um, yeah, I, I, I wouldn't, I would not mind uh, to have a Fire type on my team. So yeah, having a Slugma is, would be pretty cool. But it's only level four, so it's gonna take some time to level it up. Holy crap, that that almost killed it. Okay, that's perfect. That's perfect. All right, pack. Um, okay, I'm gonna use a, I'm gonna use the Pokeball instead of just wasting a Master Ball. I want to see this if it actually gets caught in this thing. And if it doesn't, then I'll use a Master Ball. Boom! How awesome am I? Okay, man, that was way easier than Murkrow. Murkrow, like, you guys didn't see how much of a hassle it was to catch it, because I try, you know, uh, I actually, when I caught Murkrow, I said that, yeah, that, I, I said that it's actually, um, 
that it's actually impossible to to, to catch wild to catch Pokemon with cheats, uh, with just like Pokeballs or whatever. But actually, it isn't because I just caught a, a Slugma with a Pokeball, and I use that. I, I use cheats to get that. Um, and when I seriously tried to catch Murkrow, it just took a freaking Coon's Age. So, um, yeah, I use the Master Ball on Murkrow. So I actually have an extra Master Ball. But you know what? I'll use that on. Um, on ho -Oh or whatever, yeah, because, you know, we'll be getting a Master Ball from Professor Elm, uh, later on in the game, so, actually a lot later on in the game. Holy mackerel, his icon looks like a Grimer, what do you, what the crap? Alright, anyways, let's move on. Um, yeah, I've actually wasted more time than I wanted to, and there's an item here, it's a Poison Cure Berry, here we go. Alright. And it's a trainer, and I guess we'll fight him, because I, I wanted the experience. What the crap? Wait a second. Wait a second, wait a second, no. Oh, I get it. Okay, it's not just wild po- Okay, I get it. Alright, hold on a second. Uh, yeah, you know what? I get it. I know exactly what's going on. Um, <laughs> yeah, um, there's actually- I actually- The cheat code doesn't make you just find wild- uh, Pokemon, my, it makes you find, like, whatever, all the trainers have this Pokemon, so, as soon as I sell the cheat code on for Slugma, um, all the trainers are gonna have a Slugma, so I better turn that off. I think it'd be smart. Uh, yeah, I got Mercury level 13, cool. Um, yeah, I'm gonna turn the cheat code off, and I'm actually, whoa, I just noticed, he, the youngster is red, look, look at his hat, okay, there's, I don't know, there's seriously something wrong with the cheat code, alright guys, I'm gonna turn the cheat code off, I will be right back, okay? Okay, so I did some training um, w on Slugma. I, I I trained Slugma a little bit, um, and I did not use red candies. But however, I did cheat to find level two hundred and fifty Pokemon. Um, now that was not smart, and I will tell you why. Um, yeah, I got created to level fifteen, and look how close it is to level sixteen because it evolves to level sixteen. So, I don't think that was smart, because seriously, if I evolved that thing off screen, I would have been very mad. Um, but I got Slugman to level 10, which is okay. Um, so yeah, <laughs> man, that is a dangerous cheat code to use. Uh, anyways, yeah, I'm, I ain't using Chikorita for a while, because it's way up there at level 15, so. Yes, I want a battle. Come on! What the heck? Alright, Ember! Yeah, I also learned, uh, Ember, so yeah, that's pretty cool. And almost level 11. And I turned the cheat code off to find level 250 Pokemon because seriously, if I oh I'll kill you okay seriously like if I was to leave that cheat code on then all the trainers Pokemon would be level 250 like that one youngster's um Pokemon was a Slugma like he had two Slugmas like ah oh, man I the cheat codes for Pokemon Gold are way more are way more different than what they are for Pokemon Ruby but anyways there's some sailors here. Uh, or not sailors, um, fishermen, and they all have magic herbs, so I am gonna actually, I'm gonna let, um, Slugma kill, he killed magic herb with an ember, like, it was a critical hit, but seriously. Alright, another magic herb, cool. Uh, yeah, I'll kill you, sure. Well, look at the, look at the experience points Slugma is getting. Oh, wow, you're a little 15, that's why I not doing too much. Okay, at least smog, and it pours in you, so that's cool. Smog, adios, bro. And another magic herb, you know what, I don't wanna go through this crap. Uh, Chik I I'm okay with this because Chikorita will not level up. I know that for sure. I don't want Chikorita to, to evolve. Like, like I'm okay with it evolving. Hold on a second. You know what? I don't care if Chikorita. Like seriously, tell you, Slugma and Murkrow are actually low in levels. Well, especially Slugma. And if Chikorita like it's a level 60, it's gonna be packed up in levels. So if I kill this, if, if I kill this thing, I get to level um 16. Then whatever. Um, okay, almost level 16. Alright, and yeah, with this one, we will level up and evolve into a bay leaf. Alright, level 16, cool. Alright, and also, Chikorita learned Poison Powder, uh, when I got to level 15. Don't know if I mentioned that. Anyways, yeah, Chikorita's evolving. Now, I would, I would actually stop, I would stop the evolution, but I ain't gonna do that, because I'm gonna catch my own Chikorita. And I was actually waiting until Chikorita evolved, because I did not want to have two Chikoritas in my, like, have two Chikorita, like, Two, I have no problem, like, two Chikoritas, that'd be awesome. I love Chikorita, but, I uh, I think it'd be cooler to have the evolution and then the first stage. Like, I think it'd be cool. But anyways, you got yourself a Bayleaf. So that's pretty cool. Bayleaf's a pretty sick Pokemon. Uh, now, let me see. Um, 
Okay, bay leaf is off limit. It's off limits for being used. Okay, I am not using bay leaf for a while. I actually wasn't expecting to evolve it this part, but because of that level 250 battle I had, uh, yeah, that kind of. <laughs> Anyways, um, I'm taking a much longer level than I than I expected, so I'm gonna just go faster. Oh no, Goldeen! Ah, oh, seriously. Okay, I'll use Murkrow for this. Peck. Goodbye, bro. Goodbye. Okay, cool. Now let's continue. Um, there's actually trainers and it's a. Uh, okay. Hello. See. Oh, and come on! What is up with all these water types, man? All right, goodbye. Okay, hopefully that's it. Uh, oh no, I could have killed you. Ah, dang it! All right, whatever. Could have killed you and got some actually good experience, but level twelve. All right. Uh, yeah, I'll kill you because yeah, you're burned. Ha ha ha. Okay. Um, let me see. No, there's nothing here. Okay. Uh, goodbye. Uh, hold on. There's an item over here. Oh, hop him. I'll kill you. Sure. Hop-ups are, hop are terrible. I love grass types. Oh, sweet, great ball. I love grass types, but hop it, like, jump off is a terrible Pokemon. Once, like, once hop it evolves into a skip loom, then jump off. It's a terrible, terrible Pokemon. Anyways, this guy here is gonna try to sell you a Slowpoke Tail for one million bucks. Um, if you say yes, you'll say, I love these kids. I love these kids were, the kids these days were loaded. Yes, it's impossible to buy that thing because it's actually impossible to get a million bucks in this game, so. Well, it's impossible in Heart, Gold, and Soul, Silver, so I, I assume it's impossible in Gold and Silver. Anyways, let's heal. And there's one more trainer until we hit Union Cave. Yeah, the last part I actually said that uh, it was actually called Unique Cave. I forgot the name of it, but actually, yeah, it's Union Cave. And wow, a level 6. That is stupid, man. Seriously. Level out your Pokemon a little, a li a little more. Uh, a Sparrow. That's a little more challenging. Uh, boom, level 13. And I will be actually using Slugma a lot in the next gym, because the next gym is a bug type gym. And Slugma will destroy it! So, yeah. And yeah, he'll, yeah, heal up, and here we go. Now, I'm going to, uh, see. Slugma and Murkrow are level 13 each. Yeah, actually, I don't know. There's a lot, there's a lot of rock types in this gym, so I don't, not, yeah, not gym, cave. So, so let's see. Yeah, Murkrow is actually close to level 14. Plus, I'll be using Slugma a lot in the, um, in the gym. Actually, I can use Murkrow as well in the gym. I don't know who to... Alright. Yeah, we'll just, we'll just use Slugma, I guess. I don't know. Because I, I can use Murkrow in the gym as well, so... Uh, whoa, that's kind of weird. In HeartGold and Silver, there's, there's like a place right here where you, where you can use Rock Smash and get an item. I don't know what the item is, but I guess they don't have that in this game, which is kind of funny. But anyways, so yeah, guys, that's all I have for now. Thanks everybody for watching. Um, in the next part, I'm going to uh, travel through the Union Cave. And yeah, stay tuned for more guys. God bless you all. Please write, comment, subscribe. And also, there will be there will be, a, there will be in, in the description of this video, there will be the cheat code to find Slugma. So yeah, you might want to check that out. Thanks guys for watching. God bless you all. And I'll see you all next time. Adios.